Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, like all 37-year-old males, I'm basically just a stupid little boy that wants to be Tony Stark. What was the point of that? There is literally no point. There is no reason to do this because the cast button is right there. You could just press it. Uh, the reason to do this is because, well, it'll make you way cooler than all your friends. I promise. Uh, but the real reason is, it's super easy. Why not? Uh, there is a third reason, so stop leaving. There is a third reason, and the third reason is to get into using Tasker. But Paul, you haven't explained what Tasker is yet, you moron. Uh, basically, Tasker is Android software that sits on your mobile phone or your tablet, or in fact any Android device, listening for things. Uh, if it hears a thing, it does a thing, and it's that simple. So it could be listening for the sun going down, and in return it could switch on your Philips Hue bulbs. That is something it can do. It could listen for a text message from a specific person, and it could read it out via your Echo Dots or your Google Home speaker, and I will show you that one day. Uh, in my case, it is listening for me shaking my phone around like a child, and in response it is uh, casting a YouTube video, whatever it is I'm watching at the time, to whatever device I want it to cast to. Simple. The first thing I'm going to do is install Tasker and a Tasker plugin called Auto Input. You should uh, do the same. Tasker will ask for permissions to be agreed to as you go along the process. Obviously agree to them or it won't work. And we have a blank slate ready to go. Uh, profiles is the first thing, that is the things that are being listened to, so things that might happen on the phone, and tasks are the things it does when it hears the things it is listening to. So we're going to create a profile because we want it to listen to something. So in the profiles tab I'm going to press the plus button, uh, and I'm going to choose event, and then sensor because I want uh, it to sense an event, and the event I want it to sense is shake. Uh, so we can now go back because I'm happy with the defaults there and it's saying what do you want to happen now? So um, I'm gonna listen to the phone being shook by a child. What do you want me to do when the phone is shook? New task. Cast to fire stick. Tick. So this is the task that we want it to do and it's saying I'm free. What do you want me to do? Uh, so I'm gonna press the plus button and what we're actually gonna do is not set up our task. Bonkers, I know. I'm going to actually set up something more basic than our task, so I know the shaking thing is working. Uh, so I'm going to go to alert, and I want notify vibrate. It works, you idiot. Uh, so I'm going to check that works when I shake my phone. I need to save it first, so I'm going to back out of the task. And you can see I now have a profile that says, when I am shaken, left to right, I will cast to fire stick. If I open up tasks and open up cast to fire stick, all it's going to do is vibrate. So if we now tick the box at the top and then shake the phone, it vibrates and says, it works, you idiot. Congratulations, you have created a very boring task. Uh, so we're going to now update to that task to actually do the things we want now that the task works. So we're going to get Tasker to press the buttons on our phone for us, which is absolutely phenomenal, because this means we can do all sorts of completely mental stuff. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the screen ready so that I can start to build my task. So I'm going to open up YouTube um, and pause it so I can see the cast button. I could, of course, just press the cast button with my finger, but that's so passe. Um, I'm going to teach Tasker how to do it. So the first thing we do is we open up Tasker again. Go into our tasks, and I've got cast to fire stick, and if you remember, currently it makes my phone vibrate, which is rubbish, I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to delete that uh, by cutting it, and we can now start with a blank slate and press the plus button. In the plus button, I'm going to scroll down to plugin, and then choose auto input, because it's the auto input plugin that is capable of pressing buttons on the screen for me. Uh, I'm going to choose action. And then you can see I can configure it and what it is going to do. So I'm going to press the little configuration button. And we can now choose Easy Setup. So it says it has created a notification that you can then use to assist you in creating your actions. So I'm going to close that little warning. 
And as you can see, there is a selecting field option there and it's telling me navigate to the app you want to act on and go to the screen you want, then come back here and click the add button. So I'm going to open up YouTube again. We've got our video ready to go, so I'm going to tell it add and I want to click on that button at the top there. It's saying, I detected that you clicked the cast button, is that right? The answer is, yes it is. It now wants me to go back into Tasker, so I'm going to click Tasker. And it says, there were two things here that you could do. You can either choose the cast button deliberately, or you can choose to click in that area of the screen. I want to actually choose the cast button, so I'm going to click on that. And I want it to click that cast button, so I'm going to say click, and then I'm going to tick the box at the top. I'm going to press back. And now, uh, that will press that button for me when I shake the screen. Let's check that works. So if we come back out, we tick the button at the top. Uh, and we go back to YouTube. So I should be able to shake the phone. And it presses the button and asks what I want to cast to. The next thing I need to do is tell it that option. So I'm going to go back into Tasker. Back into our tasks. Click cast a fire stick again and add the next part of the macro. So I'm going to press the plus button. I'm going to choose plugin, auto input, action, because we want it to click something. Uh, choose the configuration of it and say easy setup again. It says I've created a notification for you at the top, which is there. Selecting field, it wants me to open up the screen, click on the thing that I want to happen, uh, and then come back to it. So I'm going to open up YouTube again. I'm going to open up my notification again. I'm going to say add. And then I'm going to click on Paul's TV Fire Stick. It recognizes I've clicked it and it's called Mr. Chooser Root Icon. Who's Mr. Chooser? I don't know. I'm going to press accept because that's what I want it to do. It now says go back to Tasker. I'm going to say back to Tasker. And this time I want it to actually click the text because I want to make sure it definitely clicks in the right place. Last time I did this, I don't think the button worked. So I'm going to say element text Paul's Fire and then I want it to click it, tick the box. Uh, come back out of here, back out again, press the tick to save it. And now if I go back into YouTube and shake the phone, it did both of those things for me. It's now connecting to my Fire Stick and it will start playing. So that's it, right? Everything works now. Wrong. So the cast button isn't there while the video is playing. So what we need to do is another gesture, which is to like touch the screen like I am now to make the cast button appear. So we're going to add that to the beginning of our task. So if I go back into Tasker again, go back to tasks, back to cast to fire stick, and then add another thing. Um, I'm going to go, you've guessed it, back to the plugins, back to auto input. But this time, instead of clicking action, I want a gesture, like a swipe. I want it to like swipe on the screen. Oh. Is that clever? It can actually do that. Uh, I'm going to press gestures, uh, configuration. Uh, the gesture type I want, I'm not actually going to press swipe, I'm going to press multiple, as if I'm going to put multiple fingers on the screen. Why am I doing that? Because it's the only one that I could get to work. This is a little bit trial and error when you do these things. Uh, so I'm going to say I want finger 1 to start at coordinate 500. And that's how many pixels in. And then 500 down. That's how many pixels down, so that's about where the YouTube video is. I'm going to say start time is zero seconds, because I want it to be immediate. And the duration of the gesture is going to be 10 milliseconds, so way less than a second. I'm going to OK that, I'm going to press back, I'm going to tick the box, uh, I'm going to press back again. And I now need to just drag that to the top of my list because it's the first thing I want it to do. I want it to click it and then I want it to uh, do the rest of the task. So I'm going to come back out of the task again. I'm going to tick the box. It's applied it. And now if I open YouTube, let it play for a second, shake the phone. It does all three of those things for me and it starts to cast to the fire stick. Beautiful. Just one more thing. If my internet banking was open and I accidentally shook the phone, it would start pressing buttons on the screen and might send my money to somebody else. I happen to like money, so I'm not going to allow it to do that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say to Tasker, only react to the screen being shaken if YouTube is open and on the screen. So all we do is we hold down on shake left and right and say, I want to add a condition. Uh, the condition is that an application is open and that that application is YouTube. 
To recap what we have done then, we have created a profile that says if I shake this thing left and right and YouTube happens to be open, then launch the task cast to fire stick. If I open up the cast to fire stick task, it tells me it's going to do three things. The first thing is go 500 across, go 500 down and swipe the screen. Uh, that enables me to then click the right button in the YouTube window, which is the cast button. If I open up number two, it says I will click the cast button, which is what it does. Uh, if I then look at number three, it tells me once I've clicked the cast button and the menu comes up to say, which one do you want? Click on Paul's Fire TV stick. That is it. I'm just scratching the surface here. I'm pretty sure I could get Tasker to brush my flipping teeth. Um, so today I've made it so that there is a profile listening for me shaking my phone if the YouTube app is open. And the consequence is it presses the buttons in the right areas on the screen to make that send to a device. I could create a different profile alongside that one that says, if I shake the phone and my gallery is open, press the right positions on that screen to cast to a device, and so on and so on. I could make it so that if I walk into my bedroom and my motion detector sees movement and I shake my phone, it switches the flipping light on. The possibilities are ridiculously endless and you need to get Tasker right now and start playing. That's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. If you want to help uh, be my friend, that would be a big help. There's all these places you can come and do that. Uh, and even more of a help to me are these amazing people here. These are my patrons. Uh, you don't necessarily have to join me on Patreon and pay me every single week, although if you do, I will, of course, love you forever. But if you want to do a one-off payment, there is also my PayPal, and I'll see you next time. 37 years, 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 listening for me shaking the phone whilst YouTube is open. YouTube? What is YouTube? <laughs>